you know, that's so that's my next thing where I want to kind of double back and, you know, um, uh, you know, it's, it's like the saying, you just don't want to shit where you eat, you know, shitting where you use. Y- yeah. You know, I mean, there's a the reason table. why, you know, dogs or animals, <laughs> you know, across the board, you know, they, they, you, you'll never see them do that, you know? And it's always funny because, you know, you always hear those stories all the time, you know what I mean? Like that. And I, and, and like, it's not, you know, uh, you know, I want to get away from like really bashing a lot of instructors or, or teachers and stuff like that right. because, you know, it's very rare every once in a while, you know, uh, freaking the last one that I heard, you know, uh, was with Cyborg. Yeah, you know, the whole like fight force. Uh, I, I didn't really keep up with that one like that, you know, and, and, and like th- when things like that happen, you know, freaking it's someone like real high profile. You know, like as him in the, in, the, in the sport and stuff like that. And it's like, man, what the fuck are you doing? But look, for, you know? so for him, luckily, it wasn't him. Mm-hmm. It was just someone under the fight sports umbrella. Oh, I thought it was him. No, it wasn't him. It was it was some instructors under the. And he wasn't trying to cover it up, right, or nothing so like that. That's where he kind of got in trouble because kinda, oh, this is my boy. I'm I, you know I'm kind of right. loyal. Right. It, it was kind of it was there was some weird thing about mm-hmm. that, and I don't I don't know what happened because it was all internal, but uh-huh. it it. Thankfully, it wasn't him actually being the one that they're saying perpetrated, yeah. you know, the incident or whatever. But so you you're know, right. Though. So other than the instructors, what are like the big do and don'ts, you know, especially, you know, uh, in, in your area, you know, whether it's, you know, your gym, you know, just training or it is, you know, you are in a jujitsu gym or you're in a box, whatever it is like that, you know, yeah. with any type of, rec, you know, recreation you know, uh, um, thing that you do, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, like that is like where you see it a lot is where, you know, obviously you go there, you know, in, in, uh, to, to have some type of sense of community, meet new people, right. you know, uh, and friends and stuff like that. Uh, and, and then, you know, uh, how do you feel about, because, you know, you met your wife right now yeah. through jujitsu or gym, through yeah. just, you know, yeah, MMA yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. You know, I met my wife through through dancing. So I, you know, I've been dancing. You know, for, Your hips for don't lie. <laughs> they don't. Right? <laughs> All right, I ain't ashamed. I've been dancing salsa for a freaking since 2010. <laughs> All right, I, you know, like that. I, I, I got some good fo- footwork, all right? And I'll beat your ass to show you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, see, like that. So that's very common, you know what I mean? Like that you that you start to in- invest yourself and grain yourself in, in a community uh, like that. And then it just it just happens where, you know, oh, you know, you have another counterpart that has it's, shared interests, all right, like that. And then y'all start to date. It's easy. It's easy. All right? Then easy. what's the inevitable a majority of the time? All right? Freaking y'all break up. And then what happens, what you happens. know, that was all fucking weird because y'all sh- share the same friends and stuff like that. And it's the same community. No, I'm staying. You need to get the fuck out of here and find a new gym or Bro. something like that. Or, you know, and vice versa. You know what I mean? It, what are your thoughts on it's that? It's such a weird, it's such a weird thing because people have generally, and you, let's say it's, let, let's say you don't even meet in the same gym. Let's say you just meet and you, you get married. And you met on Match.com, and mm-hmm. you moved from Ohio, and she moved from the, you know, I don't know, Kansas or wherever the fuck. I don't know what's in, there. but y'all moved together. You've been married for a while, and now you still have the same. You you grow friends together, mm-hmm. right? Like you and Crystal have mutual friends that mm-hmm. are together, and now it's like, like who who gets the friends? Have you? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like divorce, like, you know? Yeah, what I mean? like who gets the friends? Nah, these were my friends. Yeah, these, yeah, 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 you know, like, there's a there's an old thing, it's a song, yeah. like who who gets the family Bible. Like, like, and it's just, it's a very weird thing to do because when you have those like interests, like, you know, you end up staying, you're going to end up being around each other. Yeah. Right? Like, like, you know, you're going to keep, you're going to keep dancing salsa. Mm-hmm. Oh, do I see you at another salsa conference? And that, you know, now, yeah. not Congress. 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 Yeah. Congress. You know, now what do we do? Or we do jujitsu. Do I see you at a jujitsu tournament? Now yeah. what do we do? Like, that's a, that's a thing. And I think that really. You just have to be an adult. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to be an adult. Like, uh, like for me, I just I, I've never understand. You know, uh, you know, like okay, at, at, like for me, I always thought it's weird. You know, especially like you know, you develop this long history. You know, two three years. You know, and even go even further as getting married. All right, 
the ones that get married and really take it to the next level like that and then they end up getting divorced and splitting like that like i always feel like it's a weird thing that you're friends with with your ex you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. That. especially if you don't have no kids if you like if you don't have kids like there's no reason to say that like i'm like no yeah, like i think that's weird you know I, I, I like that you know i'm not saying you can't be cordial and be mature and be like hey how you doing all right yeah that's it just right. hey hi bye you know like that just keep it at that you know you don't got to be a dick and be like yeah you know fucking you know you know yeah, you're still fucking here you know like whatever <laughs> it is like that you know what i mean right you know, but, but that whole I want you to meet my new boyfriend or I want you to meet my new girlfriend and yeah, it's that, like, like that what are right you there, talking about? It's bro? like like how why are you still in this person's life? <laughs> what you know, what are we talking about now? You know, like that's yeah. weird to me. You that's know a lot. I mean? But then okay, let's just let's just keep it simple. You know, like you are talking about a uh a, a month, two, three months stint. You right. You know, like that shit didn't work out. All right, like that, like, you know, it wasn't that really serious anyway, but then now you gotta freaking drag the whole vibe down in the gym, and and it make things awkward for everything. And then now I gotta change my. I I, I love training at night. Now I gotta freaking avoid I gotta, you. I gotta, I gotta train gotta, in the morning gotta, now. You know, right, kind of thing. Joke my whole schedule. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I I just feel like because bro, I mean I've seen like some colossal like work breakups, mm -hmm. bro like crazy mm -hmm. like like they had to literally fire this chick because all she did was call this dude all day from her desk to his desk and like <laughs> why why are you leaving me we can't do this oh bro and it's like what like like dude La stop Taxica. dude stop coming to work <laughs> yeah. because she was there he's like i'm gonna work from home and people mm -hmm. like and people were like yeah you should probably you, like but why though yeah you know what i'm saying like like come on man and but I, I also think that that doesn't just play to the like, situation that plays to, like we were talking about before, like people have like their mental illnesses, their mentalities, like some people just, like like the girl you dated in high school that still is like, fuck Eric Valdez. <laughs> Bitch, that was 20 fucking years ago. Yeah. Like, what are you I'm doing? I'm a different man. <laughs> like, you know like, I mean? Are people you serious? Change. Like, you still hate me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You, the fact that you're even still thinking about me is a lot yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying so well at you know you know in a relationship you know there's always one person that cares a little bit more than the other <laughs> bro you know what i mean like that it's statistics you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. and so like okay i, I don't want to uh, put all my trash out there like that but you know you know who exactly i'm talking about <laughs> hey I'm all just right because this happened to me all right it's personal experience this happened to me all right but we, we're in a very committed relationship you okay. know what i mean we're living with each other like that, you know, freaking paying bills with each other like that. You know, we even went as far as, you know, getting to a point where even for me, where, you know, like, you know, marriage and kids, you know, were, were in question, you know what I mean? Right. So like, you know, that's, you know, that's- Far. That's far, that's very far, you know what right. I mean? Like that. So things didn't work out. Yeah, and we, we came from the same gym. Uh, like that and then you know and like I, and, and as far like what i mean as far too like that is that you know we were financially uh tangled as for like leases you know in the right. apartment lease and things like that my name is on shit her name is on shit right you know what i mean so when we broke up and she you know she left me like that and then like shit got weird at the gym all right uh freaking she's not holding up her bargain of the lease and stuff now it costs me you know freaking financially my yeah, like yeah, yeah. It, you know it took me about about almost a year, two years, you know, freaking to to keep, uh, uh, you know, no, yeah, about a year and a half, to you know, to recover. I didn't, I never even recovered. I just managed just to not fucking totally fuck my my credit up and shit. I got you. you know what I mean, like that. But you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? And don't you know, and like that. So, uh, but like shit like that, you know what I mean, like you know. That's when like things that go a little too far, yeah. You know, and then like it's there's no recovery from it and things like that. And then uh, and, and so, when do you see all right like it appropriate for within a, a within the same environment or community like that as for like like you know what like like yeah we should date you know what I mean I, I really see you you know in my life you know forever you know what I mean man that's such a hard thing because. And I talk, I tell people this all the time. When you think about, when you think about your day, mm -hmm. when you think about Eric Valdez's day, mm -hmm. you see the people in your gym more than you see your wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a very hard thing because when you're when you go to work, like you spend eight hours a day at work, mm -hmm. then you spend two hours in the commute, so that's ten hours, mm -hmm. and then you go home, you sleep eight hours, right? Yeah. So that's eighteen hours. So 
maybe, maybe you're awake with your wife a general week about six hours. Maybe. Not, not counting the weekend, I can honestly tell you during the, just the weekday, not the weekend, just the weekday, it's less than an hour. It, bro, you know, yeah. I'm just, just mm -hmm. realistically, yeah. realistically. We're and up, so. she gets ready, she's out the door, uh, freaking by the time she gets home, I'm already freaking here at the gym like that. Uh, and then when and you then, have kids, it's even less because yeah. you may be in the house six hours, but y'all yeah. ain't together. Yeah. Like somebody's chasing something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. So, so, it, and so it just becomes an... So it's a very hard thing to avoid. Now mm -hmm. the question becomes, like you said, when is it okay? I, I, the appropriateness, I, I think what you do for the appropriateness has to be, and this is gonna sound stupid, it's crazy relationship advice always, mm -hmm. but I think you kind of have to establish a friendship first. Of course, you know. Like the, yeah. I think you have to establish a friendship first because then you can kind of figure out what the person's mindset is, what their mentalities are, how they are as a general person because Man, some people are just nuts, man. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like if you meet a chick and like every time she calls you or her ringtone's like, I bust the windows out of his car. Like, run from <laughs> yeah. that chick. Like, she's nuts, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. Jasmine Sullivan. Like, she's got she's got good music, bro. She's playing some sexy red, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> My, <laughs> I ain't even gonna finish those lyrics. <laughs> bro, that music is so trash. But yeah, yeah, but but right. Like you just, you know, you figure out what their, you know, you figure out what their mindset is, you figure out their mentality, <laughs> and then you kind of go from, you know, you kind of move from there. And because I think that that's safer. So to me, in my eyes, when I look at the alternatives now, that's a safer alternative than like online dating. It, man, I, I, it's, you know, it's just so weird, you know, how dating is nowadays, you know what I mean? You know, you never really hear too often like, oh yeah, you know, I met him through this group of friends or I went out and faced, you know, everything is a lot online and right. stuff like that. We were, tum we were Tinder hookups you first. Know, yeah, Tinder, Tumblr, all them, you know, whatever apps like that. I met on Facebook, dating app. You know, Facebook has one right too. You know, all that shit, you know Bro, I mean? it's just a, it, to me that's, to me, to me, mm -hmm. um, it's safer when you, can see the person and touch them, watch the way they interact, watch the way they interact with people. I don't, bro, if I, if we only have to go on a, like if I only have to be normal for like, like two hours on a date, mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. I can 100% do that. Yeah. Now, if you talk to my wife, she'd say, this dude's a complete fucking nerd. Yeah. You're talking about video games and anime all the yeah. fucking time. Like what? That's hard to keep up when you see me all the time yeah. just in my now normal element. Really do I want to be with him? <laughs> right, this like that. Yeah. Geek. Um, but yeah, man, it's, I don't know, man, it's, it's, but I also think that from person to person, like student to student, mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult to avoid. I think that what people need to do, which circles back to, to us mm -hmm. and our podcast is when you're a management, when mm -hmm. you're management, like, like it's different from shitting where you eat. Like you could be fucking up your money. No, yeah, for sure. Like, like it's just not worth it. Like, this mm -hmm. is because you own a gym, you sleep with a student, she gets mad, she goes away, right? Yeah, that's money plus a bad review, which, you know, more people freaking uh, respond to bad reviews than good but reviews. Plus, plus all of her friends that she's not going to tell her to come anymore. Yeah, of course. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's just like, it's like, nah, let me just, let me just not. Mm -hmm. Let me just, let me just not. Um, and... I've heard a crazy statistic that, you know, someone that has a, a bad review with uh, uh, the one person that has a bad review would tell 10 person, 10 people, then 10 people with good reviews will only turn one, will tell one. What do you do when you look like, at reviews? What, 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 when you look at reviews, what do you do? Uh, I look at how, like how many stars they have and then the number by the stars, that little quote, like yeah. how many, uh, are not, like how big that number is, you know? Right. Cause if it's five stars, but only two people rated it, then I'm like, then nah, who cares? like that, you know? But if it's five stars, you're talking about like 427 people rated it. All right, then it's that's more credible. Number, yeah, bro. yeah, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> But, like but, yeah. <laughs> and, but then when you scroll through them, but which reviews do you read? Hmm? I really don't read no reviews. I, like, honestly, like, because ah, okay. I, 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 cause like at the end of the day, I, you know, freaking, I, I'm going to see the rating. You know, there's gonna there's some type of pattern there that's going to, that that freaking created that that big rating, you know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. So if, if it's 
you know, four and a half stars and you got 427 uh, 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 reviews on there like that. All right. Like, I don't really care what the one bad person said or, or like that. Cause you know what? It, it, it caught my eye. So now it's time for me. All right. I really did enough research. All right. right. It has my price point. I like it's, you know, it's convenient area like that. And it, and it, it has a good review. Now it's on me to go in there. All right. And, and figure then figure it out myself. Is this the place that I want to be in? See that, you know what I mean? So why is it so good? Or why is that one person? And such an asshole. See, you know, like when that. I see, whenever I see a bad review, mm -hmm. I do essentially the same thing. I'm yeah. like, this is just somebody like you, like you read them in restaurants and like the rolls were too hard. And I'm like, stop. Yeah, really. The, the rolls weren't too hard. Who, who the fuck is you know ordering you know <laughs> right a fried chicken just for the rolls? <laughs> right. You know you, what I mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're upset. You didn't like your waiter. Yeah. Right. And so you go through this whole thing. This I'll never go eat here again. Yeah, it's yeah. like, but it's one. Yeah. You know, maybe you know, and there and sometimes you get you know you get. Like some reviews, like it'll be mid level. I generally read the mid level reviews, mm -hmm. and I read the mid level reviews, or at least a couple of them, if, if the quote number is high enough. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes what will happen, like on a mid level review on a restaurant, is they'll be like, "Don't go on Friday or Saturday because the wait is too long." You know, All what I'm right, saying that's a good one, and that, you that's know, a good review. You, you, and so you go, oh, okay, that you know, that's cool. Um, but it is a good review because you're like, it's a bunch of people here. Yeah. There's a know? bunch of people here. Uh, you know, yeah. But, but yeah, man. I, you're not going to go with trail burgers on a Saturday, you know, waiting two hours in the fucking hot ass sun, you know, even though the fucking burgers is bombing shit or something but, like that. But yeah. you know, the other, the other thing is this though. Yeah. Most people, when they have good reviews, don't review. They don't. That's what I'm they saying. They don't review. That's what I'm saying. They just All leave right? it. One person can have a bad review and tell 10 people to not come in. Ten people can have a bad review, and only one of them will tell. Uh, oh tell yeah. Them. yeah, ten yeah. good reviews. Uh, they because when you good, but, but it's also, and here's what sucks about good reviews, bro. When you go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and the food is good, the service is on point, you know, the price is right, you know, everything. What do you think? Like, what do you mean? Like, what like, like, your like your thought in your head. You're, you in your head. You go I'm coming back. You you're coming back, yeah. but you go because that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You're not saying this is exceptional. You're like, yeah, this is what it was supposed to be. Yeah. So whenever things are right, people are like, that's yeah, that's what I expected. They're not thinking, oh, this is an exceptional review. Let me give it five stars. You're like, no, it's, it's what it's supposed to be. It was supposed, it's, to, be. It was supposed to be good. You know, so they, they think they're gonna get a fucking uh, <laughs> a circus freaking act, right. uh, you know, going on and stuff. To, <laughs> right. You know, and, and so it's just it's it's just super weird, uh -huh. man. And 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 I also don't like the I. This is just me personally. I don't like the review game. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I don't like the review game is because it's super easy for people to just hate. Mm -hmm. Like it's super, like you can get, like, like you can, I hate Popeye's chicken. Mm -hmm. I own, you know, Jules's chicken. Mm -hmm. Eric, you my boy, just go on and rate Popeye's bad. Say yeah. you found a, a dead rat in the, in the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And you just get all your your people to just go in and put. They may never been to Popeye's chicken. Yeah, but all of a sudden you just got a whole slew of bad reviews by random people. Because I I just uh, I don't know. Nah, I get it. Nah, I get it. Let's get let's get back. All right, so we're getting a little too far away from the conversation like that. But like, yeah, let's get back. All right, chicken. like that. <laughs> Man, chicken's fine, bro. All right, all right. but uh, you know, getting back, you know, within your own community and things like that. Oof. All right, uh, you know. I had my experience uh, like that, and you know, again, uh, that was actually my my second time. All right, freaking messing with a girl within the community and stuff like that, and then you know, my my coach set me aside, you know, like that, and he told me, hey, bro, you fucking up my business, you know. So you know, yeah. happy that you brought that up, and then it opened up my eyes. I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna do it again. Right. You know what I mean? Like that. The first uh, the first girl I, I went, like, you know, let's get back to what you were saying about creating a bond, a friendship and stuff like that. All right. It's going to naturally happen. Y'all in the same community and stuff like that, especially, you know, y'all consistently always training. Right. You know, at the same time and the same days and stuff like that, you know, uh, like that. But uh, I, you know, for me at the time when, you know, the first girl that I that, that I messed with in, in, in the in the gym and stuff like that, like uh, the question came up of like, you know, what is this? You know what I mean? Meaning, like, relationship-wise. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, I I left it very broad and, like, cordial. And I was like, you know, it is what it is right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, kind of thing. It's Please? not like nobody really wants right, right. to hear that. But I'm like, right. hey, you know, this is our first time hooking up and things like that. 
I'm like, I'm like, you know, let's just see what happens. You know right, what right, I mean? right. If shit gets serious, shit gets serious. You know, what I mean, I'm, like, I'm not, you know, what we, it's our first night. You know, you try to plan out a wedding already, like, you know, right, don't right. make it weird. Right. You know what I mean? But I was very adamant, you know, with her, you know, like, uh, you know, like that, where, you know, like, look, this is my plans of what I have. You know, like that, you know, freaking, I'm, I'm training every day. Uh, you know, I want to try to take this fight thing as far as I can. Like that, I was like, I don't have time for a relationship. I'm sorry, but I, you know, I'm being selfish right now. And like, you know, it is what it is. Right. You know, you know, I'm a man. You're a man. I mean, I'm a man. You're a woman. Freaking. <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody. I mean, I'm not doing you know that. What I mean, like, yeah, we have needs. Right. right. But just know, like, I'm not gonna let anything interfere with, right. with my life I got goals a goal. right now. Right. You know, I got goals right now. All right. And right. alongside, the, you know, along the way. If you continue and you want to be a part of that and support me, all right, yeah, you know, things are just going to naturally navigate itself to being a strong relationship like that, you know, right. what I mean? because, of course, who doesn't want to have, support. you know, a support system right beside them, not behind them, you know, beside them and be like, yeah, like, you know, freaking I believe in, in this person and what they're doing and I want to be a part of that. Of course, it's going to just grab like, you know. They know Things the, didn't happen they know like the that. grind. They know what you're going through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Things didn't happen like that. And, you know, yeah, we were cordial, mature about it like that. You know, even after the fact that, you know, um, we weren't together, we were still cool and stuff. Like, it's not like we were buddy buddies or anything like that. Right. But, like, yeah, you know, like that. The next one, obviously, freaking what I just said right now, right. you know, a Bit lot of, of financial stuff was intertwined with each other like that. A little more of a nightmare. Left. There was a lot of bad blood, you know, uh, that happened. And so, like, that right there, like, you know, freaking really ruined a lot of shit. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that I stopped talking to her because, you know, like that freaking I'm happy that I, I that I got you into divorce and she did. not <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? It's right. on the fence with Ellie, but, you know, I'm cool with Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shit like that. You know right, what I mean? right, 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 you know? right. And so, like, you don't want things like that to happen at all, you know? Bro, so. <laughs> no, and you really don't. And the thing is, it, it's it's just a very it really is a very fine line to walk like it's mm -hmm. a super fine line to walk and it's just and it's just like with any it's just like with any relationship but the thing is it's like you said you know one of the things that that i would that i would plan on and i would think about is am i the type of person that could be an adult yeah like am, am, am i an adult because if i can get in this and then leave it and then just be like fuck it whatever i mean who cares then okay fine if you can't do that, that's a different situation. Yeah. Like you need to figure out w what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, now that you're saying that, looking back, like like I knew I was smart and mature enough to understand how how young I was, right? Because right? I was 23, 24 years old, right? You know, at the time. So I'm like, you know, who at that time, you know, freaking full of testosterone, male like me, and, and you know, at the height of what I was doing and stuff like that, I'm like, hey, psh, nah. You know, what I mean, like if, it, if you ain't gonna give it to me, I'll go to the next one, you know, right. like that. Yeah, for sure. Now, you know, freaking me, you know, in my 30s, you know, and then meeting my wife, you know, in our community and stuff like that. All right. I tell this story, you know, uh, you know, to our friends, like, because they're like, oh, how did y'all meet and stuff like that, bro? It took me three years to land my wife, bro. All right. <laughs> That's how patient I was. All right. No shit. Yes. Okay. All right. She would tell you, that, she would tell everybody that I'm a fucking liar. Nah, bro. It's not, I, how I see it. This is how I see it. All right? right. Because she came into the scene. All right. And, and like, like any new scene where there's a new girl and like, and a ton of uh, guys like that, you know, everybody's going to want to try to get after her and right. stuff like that. All right. You know, my wife is exceptional. All right. She's beautiful like that. Right. She's a great dancer. She came from Oklahoma. Oklahoma to Houston to further her dance career all right like that you know and she was an instructor like that and so like in the salsa scene you know you've been around a little like that like you know I'm like what thing I like about like the salsa culture and stuff like that is like you know a much more majority of the time like you know uh everybody's there to to dance you know right it's, right you know, right it's not like me market like when I yeah when you know it is you know what I mean? But I'm talking about, like, as opposed to being at a club. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, you go to a club and you ask a girl, to, a female to dance like that. Like, what okay, do you got to do? You got to get through that impenetrable circle, right. you know, to get to her and then freaking be fighting off her linebacker fat friend or something like that, <laughs> you know, just so you can get to her. And then she says no anyway. You right. Know, like that. Right. As opposed to, like, freaking uh, salsa, you know, in the salsa culture like that. No, everybody goes to a social. That's what we call them. Right. Like that. To dance. All right. Right. Like that is, you know, 
why the fuck are you here if you don't want to dance? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So like I, you know, uh, you know, freaking really getting into that like that. I stopped going to clubs. I started going more to socials. Okay. Like and then she came in, you know what I mean, like that. And like, man, it took me a long time to finally freaking get my first dance with her, bro. Because like I in a, in a social environment, like for, for salsa dancing and stuff like that, uh, usually it starts about 8 o'clock. Somewhere around 10, 11 o'clock, there's an intermission, all right? People okay. stop uh, dancing because depending on what studio it's at, this is their time to showcase their students, you know, what they've uh, been working okay, on. Okay, okay. So they do about an hour worth of shows, you know, dancing of what their students are working on like that. And then the rest of the night, you know, 12, 1 o'clock, sometimes it goes at 2, depending on how late the, the owners want to open it like that, you know, uh, is the rest of dancing like that. So I would always go find her and ask her to dance like that. And then she's like, yeah, after the intermission, like that. So, you know, intermission is done. I go and look out for her, gone. You know what I mean? Like that, you know, maybe she's already at a point where she drank too much like that, right, bro? She always just left, you know what I mean? Right. And so, and the thing too, I was like, I was like, God, man. So like, it, like, it took me a while, bro, to finally <laughs> like, trap her bro right <laughs> right right right, like, right right nah we get in this dance you right know what I mean? right now like that yeah you know what i mean so i finally had my first dance with her like that i started you know you know i started throwing out the dad jokes like that she she cracked a smile and was laughing on one of them i was like i got it in the bag dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> right I mean, for sure and then like it was it, this sucked too because when i finally got my dance with her she wasn't living in houston no more she was living in austin you know uh, what I mean? Uh, and so, so you know, I got my first dance with her. Freaking, I, I slid in the DMs, and she was like, oh, you know, like, hey, I really love our dance. You know, can I have, can we have dinner next weekend? She's like, yeah, I would love to have that dinner next weekend, but I live in Austin. I was like, damn, when are you going to be back in Houston? You know, I didn't know that. You know what I mean? She was like, oh, I'll be back for the social in Houston, you know, in two weeks. I'm like, all right, bad, let's do it. Right. You know what I mean? Like that. You know, so freaking. You know, <laughs> so after that, it was. And what grinded? Yeah, you know, right. three years being patient. You know, bro. Right? She's not gonna say the same. I promise you. Yeah, but I know, I know, bro. Right, all right, right, I know. This is my wife. All right, right. I mean, three years, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so but, you know, like that, but I mean that, but that, but just like, but just like that though, like, like it's just, it really is, man. Like you have to be, you just have to be careful, bro. So, all right, not to get a lot of details, tell me, you know, what led up between you and Ellie since y'all were in the same, you know, Bro, it was uh, weird because it was almost the same thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I was in the gym when I started, so I was fat. Yeah. So I was training, then I started training, then I started doing, by the time Ellie started in the gym. She was, she was right around, like, after you. She was, no, she came... Y'all were like right, right, like right, right at the, the end, like same, right, at, like right yeah. around the time that I left, mm -hmm. she came in. Mm -hmm. But when she came in, well, we were, t we were, I was training with her for a little while, but mm -hmm. we, she came in, and then I remember David Wolf, yeah, was like, "Man, have you seen the chick in the gym?" And I was like, <laughs> and I remember not really ever paying attention to who was in the gym, yeah, because by that time, you know, we were always on fight camps, yeah. So while she was down on the on the floor. We were always in the cage, so we yeah. came in. We never we messed with up. the people on the mats. The normies, bro. <laughs> yeah, the normies. <laughs> we were down there with yeah. the normies. Like we you were there. serious, man. You we, ain't, yeah, we were here to get you. our head bust. <laughs> yeah. So then I finally, you know, you know, saw or whatever. So this was what was crazy. So I was like, oh man, she's cute. So I saw, and but I was, oh, you know, I looked, and because she was on the floor, they left. Their class was over when we were cranking up. Mm -hmm. So we were never really able to talk. Yeah. And then one day, uh, on one day, I was at home and I got a friend request on Facebook from her. From her. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that what she was doing was just like, oh, I, this is the guy in the gym. I trained with him, uh, you know, yeah. send a friend request. Yeah. You know, and I was like, hey, let's go to dinner. I, actually, what I said was, <laughs> what I said was, let's go. I was like, what are you doing? Let's go eat now. Because I was, you know, I was. I was shit. I was single. Sounds like you were thirsty, bro. I was like, <laughs> was I working? I wonder was I working for myself? No, I wasn't working for myself. I was working for somebody. But you know, you know, I, you know, I was like, fuck, I'm not doing anything. Let's, yeah. you know, let's go eat right now. And she was like, uh, she was like, no, I can't. I've got kids. And I was like, well, let's go eat later. Mm -hmm. You know, let's pick a day. Let's go eat. And so then, it, you know, it started. You know, it started from there. You know, you're just chilling and, and and hanging out and getting to know like her. Yeah. Before you keep, but 
but it was you know it's, it's just you just see him and it's the same thing you know she was new to the gym so everybody's like oh is this oh is it yeah you know there was one guy that we trained with it was like a like he was like a chicken hawk he was always trying to get after this know, you know exactly I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about who it is <laughs> you know exactly who it is, but every ain't time no yeah, name it, calling it don't, ain't no yeah, name yeah, calling yeah, but yeah, if yeah, a woman yeah, walked in front of the gym oh, and looked oh, like oh, she was gonna oh, sign you, up bro, he swarming. was he was out there yeah. so <laughs> whatever but 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 I mean but it is very cool but. You know the thing happened. You know, you know, because because what so what was weird about that was we were trained together. So mm-hmm. you and Crystal danced together. Mm-hmm. But when she decided that she wanted to get in the cage and spar a little bit, Saul would always pair us together because mm-hmm. he knew we were in a relationship, right? Yeah. But I didn't go easy on her necessarily. Yeah, I beat her ass every time I spar with her. <laughs> I, I, I just didn't go easy <laughs> on her. I go like I don't know. And so, yeah. but it got but, but because we were in a relationship, yeah. when it was time to like just jab spar, like I would I would slip, I would slip, I wouldn't let her hit me. I'd be like, yeah. damn, you can't even hit me. And then before you know it, here's one, two, she's throwing yeah. combos and kicks. And I'm like, Joe, we just jab spar. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but but I mean it, you know, it's cool. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Um but you know, it, you, but it's just like any relationship, man, you gotta be you gotta be an adult. You gotta be adult about it, and you have to remember, like you have to think about all the things that are in place. Like you said, if, if is this is there something about what's going on right now that's going to do harm to the establishment? Mm-hmm. Because that's not what I want to do. Yeah. I don't want to do harm to the establishment. So yeah. if I want to do harm to the establishment, I have to figure something else out. Yeah. Um. And and you know sometimes the shit works, man. <clears throat> Bro, sometimes it doesn't. Like I've seen. There's been some, there's been some really major breakups in like the jujitsu community, bro. Yeah. Like huge. Yeah. Huge one. Not saying any names. Not nothing. You can Google if you want, but but one chick there was a breakup because one chick they found like a gangbang video of her and <laughs> her boyfriend. It was like yeah. yeah. But we were on a break and he was like, "What the we're, fuck do you mean we on were on a break?" break. <laughs> You're like, and you doing this? And that's <laughs> it was just, just like that. It was a, know, it's a, sometimes don't it's even a know lot, what bro. you're gonna do when we break up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a lot, bro. So yeah, you, but but at the same time, and and I, what I have seen though is in those big breakups like that in the community, mm-hmm. that somebody somebody t- gets to the gym and somebody leaves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody stays and somebody goes, and I think. I mean, of course, you know, in high profile, that kind of happens a lot. No, yeah, for sure. But I, you know, I'm. I think it kind of happens on the smaller on the smaller scales too, just because people can't. Like they, they can't share space. Yeah. They can't be share space and be mature. And if you, I mean, that's on you if you can't share space. Yeah, I, I, I'm that type of person. You know, what I mean, freaking where you know, yeah, I'm I'm always real quick to just leave the situation. Right. You know, I mean, I just I don't like those vibes and stuff like that. Um, if it means a lot to me, then then yeah, it's not gonna. But if it's if it doesn't mean nothing to me, yeah, I'll dip oh, out. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm like, oh, it's not worth it to me. Like that. To so yeah, like if it's nothing. Yeah. Peace, I don't. I don't need. I don't need this you know. Shit. So you know. But then again, you know, if it's worth it to me, then yeah, I take all those little things and accountability and stuff like that, and like. You know, freaking. If I got a lot to lose, you know, if shit don't work out like that, I'm like, nah, that's not worth it for me. Right, right, right. You know, uh, for sure. You, you just take you, but, but I mean, that's but that's all, you know, risk analysis and risk management and what is it called? It's not risk management. What is it called? Like disaster control. Uh yeah, like uh, yeah, I don't know. What I, I I I I know what you're talking about. You know, you just you know really trying to reduce you know, a lot of damage. You know, right? Like that. You know for sure. Yeah, but shit, it's a lot. But but full circle, full circle, full circle. Um, if you own the business, you run the business. You got to learn how to pick those bad apples out quick, bro. You got, bro. If you run the business. If you date another business owner, that's fine. If you date a student at another business, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But, bro, not not yeah. not in the house, bro, because he or she could leave a bad review mm-hmm. that could be scathing. Mm-hmm. And and like you, we talked about, it just takes one like sexual misconduct allegation, 
Yes. And it could shut your whole business down, yeah. bro. It's and then, not worth as it. As for instructors, you know, uh, what I just said uh, is like, you know, learning how to pick, like, what do you do if you, as an instructor and it's your business or like that, whatever, like that? Um, um, you know, when you see this and you and then you have one of those guys that is a vulture just, you know, running through all the females like that, you know? Um, and let's say, let's say like he's like a star student, you know what I mean? He's a real property star student like that. Do you, you know, do you get, you know, do you let him uh, freaking uh, filter out all the females or do you kick his ass out? It, so, so that, so in that situation, mm -hmm. it depends on what your gain is. Mm -hmm. Because, so like in our situation, right? Mm -hmm. We were at the MMA gym. Mm -hmm. We didn't have no women fighters at that gym. Yeah, like there were no there were there were no women fighters in that gym. Yeah, there were there were women that trained, train, but there were no women fighters in that yeah. gym. And so Saul Solis only cared about fighters. Mm -hmm. Not only cared about fighters, he cared about his students, but mm -hmm. he only cared about his fighters. Yeah, his he, main focus. He his main focus was the fighters in the cage. Mm -hmm. So chicks come, they go, they'll be here for a little while, they won't be whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. He wants his focus was the fighters. Now, um, if that's your focus then that's fine. But if you're a real businessman yeah. and your focus is making money and bringing people in, one of the biggest knocks on combat sports is women can't feel, women don't feel comfortable in the environment. Yeah. And what makes them not feel comfortable in the environment is when they, when they come in from work and they're all made up before they've changed clothes and now here comes here comes the vultures swoop, yeah. swooping in. And then they're like, man, I, I just come in to work out. I don't want to I don't want the that yeah. meat market thing. You know, this is my sanctuary where I come to right. clear my head and, and be safe, my comfort zone and stuff like that. And you know, for me, I, I say get rid of them. I it, in that mm. situation, if that's yeah. if you want to build Especially an environment, you, uh, an environment, a community, yep. right, like that. I One bad apple will spoil the bunch. You know I say I mean? you get rid of yeah. them. I say you get rid of them, send them someplace because mm -hmm. there are places they can go and they can do all that, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if that's not the environment that you want, because one of the things that I'm very conscious of. And especially now, and I train jujitsu, and I I will train with women, men, girls, boys. Doesn't make a difference, right? Mm -hmm. But one of the things you have to be conscious of is not revictimizing people. Yeah. And there are some people who, yeah, you grab the lapels, but you don't have to cop a feel when you grab the lapel. Yeah. Just grab the fucking lapel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like just grab the lapel. But I think one thing that people do that makes it seem that makes it awkward is when they grab the lapel. And I mean, if I when I've grabbed your lapel, I've grabbed a little nipple. Mm -hmm. You know, it happens. But then you go, sorry, sorry. That makes it feel awkward. Yeah. Because now it's like, well, wait a minute, was that on purpose? Like, what mm -hmm. is it? Because it's it's a lot, bro. It's yeah. a ton of content. It's like all in that. It's, there's so much stuff happened inadvertently, right? Like that and you, you know, you don't want to re like just. Uh, what I'm trying to say, reinforce, uh, you know, or like re-victimize, like what you're telling right. them in that quick. And then just, now just everything got all weirded out. They were feeling in the, in the safe zone and like that. And then, you know what? Uh, probably I don't want to be here. You know, I'm, I'm going to leave. Right. You know, it, like that. And it's like, well, it's, that's, it's too know, much. Yeah. It's too much. You just have to be, you have to be, and, and here's the other thing, because we're talking about creating community. Mm -hmm. And I just want, for all our guys that are listening, mm -hmm. um, we are, as men, naturally bigger and stronger than women. Of course, yes. Learn to train with your women, but pull back on your pull back on your strength. Use your technique. Don't be embarrassed if she passes your guard. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try to body slam her. Don't do anything crazy because she's smaller than you. She's mm -hmm. not there. She's not. She's there for a good role. She's there for good instruction. But she's not there to get beaten up by some guy who's bigger than her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you do that, you run the women out of the gym. Yeah. Because they don't they don't want to get beaten up. They don't they don't want to get beaten up like that. Yeah. Because because you know when you pick a woman to roll, she's essentially know she's going into a losing battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I go 100 percent strength on the woman, what is she gonna do? Yeah, nothing. She's not gonna do anything. Yeah. So you know, be conscious of who you're rolling with. You know, if you're rolling with another guy and he's smaller than you, where he's new, you know, scale back on the strength. Put, start relying on technique. Be use that to build your technique, because you want people to keep training. You want them to come back. You don't want to hurt anybody by going for a stupid, you know, heel hook, ripping a heel hook on one of your mm -hmm. training partners. So just, just 
we are a community. We're trying to build that community. We're trying to grow that community. And so just be conscious and be mindful when you're rolling and training that you're doing things to help build the community and grow the sport and not do like crazy shit. Yeah. You know,